So hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video and today we're gonna talk about farming endo in Railjack. This is sort of a follow-up video to the one I released yesterday which will be linked in the video description. Because as it turns out, Railjack is actually very good for farming endo as well. Firstly, the junk or rather the junk parts you can get for your Railjack can all be dissolved into endo and secondly, every single container, whether it be a breakable container or a locker, will drop 15 endo. Now how efficient this is depends on two things. Number one, how well equipped is your Railjack? because the better equipment you have, the faster you'll be able to do the missions, and whether you're doing it solo or not, because while the AI crew members are okay, it is definitely faster to do it with a full squad of people that know what they're doing. Now the example run I'm gonna show you is kind of like the worst case scenario, because I'm doing it on my own, I don't have a meta set up for my railjack, and I'm not particularly good at railjack either. But I actually prefer that, because I would much rather show you realistic numbers so that you know what to expect from this. So here I am, I dissolved all the scrap, so it's very easy to tell how much scrap we actually got during the mission, and I'm gonna head over to NSU Grid in Vel Proxima. Now if your crew is at least decent and you have some okay weapons, you don't have to worry about the regular fighters, your crew will take care of them on their own. And to begin with, I'm starting off with two gunners and an engineer. Personally, I like to start off with the objectives and then do the cruise ships later, so I will fly to the first objective and actually set one of the gunners to be a pilot instead. Once that's done, I head to the first objective. Now it's a good idea to have an AoE weapon with you, because as I've mentioned in the beginning, every single container and locker will drop 15 endo, so you might as well break all of them as you're running through the tile set and finishing the objectives. Though you could also use carrier with the looter mod which will also break these containers. Now the reason why we set one of our crew members to be a pilot is because when you have a pilot and a gunner, there's a pretty good chance that they can actually take care of the outside objectives on their own, so you don't have to go back and forth after every step. This of course doesn't matter if you're doing it in a party, as your party members will be taking care of the outside objectives instead. Now it can sometimes take the AI a few seconds to find the objective and actually deal with it, so use any extra time to scour the tile set, find more containers and break them for extra endo. Once all the objectives are finished, I head back to my railjack and I start picking off cruise ships. Now the whole all containers drop a little bit of endo thing also applies to the containers on cruise ships, so if you're gonna be boarding them and not sniping them from the bridge, you want to once again use an AoE weapon and fire it around a little bit to break all the nearby containers to get extra endo. And there we go, that's the last cruise ship kept bloating in the background, so let's check out the results. We managed to get roughly about 600 endo in 11 minutes from just raw drops, and we managed to get two pieces of scrap which will scrap into 450. Plus we got a bunch of mods which we can also dissolve into even more endo if we want to, and we even managed to get two relics from the bonus rewards. And let's also not forget, we got 100,000 credits, which isn't too shabby. And just to remind you, once again, this is kind of like the worst case scenario, because I'm using AI crew members. If you do this with a full squad of people that know what they're doing, you can do this much faster and you can even get more stuff. So yeah, Railjack is actually not too bad when it comes to farming endo. It's also very different to the other methods of farming endo, which is perfect because if you get tired of farming arbitrations or farming the Ratu Marina or spamming endless excavation or whatever, you can jump in and do a little bit of Railjack instead. And that is pretty much it, so I thank you very much for watching as always guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you have any other tips for farming endo in Railjack, leave them in the comment section down below for other people. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.